here. Oh, ready? Come on. Uncle Mud here in sunny Montana at Wheaton Labs. We're actually up on the lab. I'm usually down at the shop, but uh, there's some cool things been going on here this summer. We built uh, a, a sauna out of this skittable building that was originally supposed to be a kitchen. Uh, but I think a sauna is like something that feeds the soul, especially if you're off grid. And so showering is more of a challenge. Having a sauna, a place to get warm. This is an excellent first building to have on the land when you uh, want to uh, just be there more. A place to put your tools, a place to get warm and sleep out of the... Uh, uh, out of the weather, not in a tent or not in a car, have a little building there, not a trailer that you'll wish you hadn't put there. Actually put a little building. And this building is great because other than the fasteners and the hinges and doors, it's pretty much all stuff that comes from the land. Uh, you get a sawmill, you can do this yourself. Um, or it, uh, I found having relationships with people with saunas, I can get their seconds wood for uh, uh, much much cheaper um, but this building is is pretty cool um, up on top you'll see this is actually pallet wood it's not gonna last very long it's not what I would recommend for a roof uh, but it's super super cheap um, and it kind of blends in feels natural um, and if you're really going for something organic, that will fade back in. We'll use that as firewood for the next building. Uh, I prefer using like a rubber membrane and putting a living roof up on there. But, uh, but this works for a temporary building. And then you see the rafters are poles that were pulled out of the woods. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> then the inside of the building was actually built before the outside which in this climate where it doesn't rain much, this will work temporarily and then it makes it easy to put insulation in, stuff it as you go with straw clay or something and let it, let the water evaporate out of the, the mud and clay. And, um, and then you can put a cladding on the outside or just plaster the outside. Um, these skids have made it so they could put this building wherever they need it. Um, uh, they built it down at the shop and dragged it the three miles uh, to the to the lab um, on these skids. Um, it's a really nice way to do something where you have electricity to run power tools and time to work on it close to uh, your infrastructure if you're trying to create infrastructure uh, at another place. And then... Having a little building like this is an excellent start for infrastructure. And then later when you've got the house, when you've got the shop, well this becomes the sauna. So this summer we built a, uh, a rocket stove. This is my design, it's called the cottage rocket. Uh, basically uh, the whole J tube and everything is stuck inside of these two barrels and then the top barrel radiates heat into the room, and the bottom barrel has the feed tube where you put your wood for it to burn super clean on little scraps of wood and uh, fill your sauna with heat. And um, there's still some work on this building to do. Like, it'll probably be more fun when the cracks are sealed and your feet aren't cold while your head is hot. Um, and there's some, so definitely the insulation will make a big difference, but this is really pretty, this tongue and groove and multiple platforms, multiple uh, benches to sit on, way up high and everything, give people a different uh, uh, sauna experience all in the same sauna, because it was like 230 degrees up here uh, when they fired it up this week. Um, and uh, the... Um, but it's kind of cold down at the bottom still. This uh, um, this kind of rocket uh, uses uh, standard fire brick um, to create the core that burns hot enough that it'll just melt metal. Um, and the uh, riser is made out of ceramic wool uh, that uh, 
can handle the heat as well. And the rest of this is pretty much uh, metal scrap, uh, which is really nice to have a wood stove that costs a couple hundred bucks, 300 bucks in materials. Um, you can finish this with stove black or with high temperature stove paint. Uh, you see we had a couple of leaks, so we smeared some cob on that. Um, it's a little sloppy, but it works. Um, that could be my motto. It's a little <laughs> sloppy, but it works. Uh, maybe I could get that monogrammed or something. Um, but this is a little vestibule, place to dress uh, or undress for your sauna, place to store your boots and, uh, and whatnot. Um, handy to be able to have a place to put tools. You could even put a little shower in there. Um, and also it helps keep the room hot, hot in there and comfortable in here uh, before you come outside. So, yeah, see, uh, see us on UncleMud.com uh, for more stuff like this. We're going to go check out another one.